Okay, alternate day fasting is the most well-studied type of fasting. And what they found is overall what fasting does, it decreases calorie intake by about 20 to 25%. It results in people eating less. And of course, when people eat less, they lose weight. So it's effective for weight loss. In some studies, they show that you could also retain lean body mass during fasting, while in other studies with greater calorie deficits, they didn't observe that lean body mass was preserved. Now, there's also whole day fasting, which is one to two days of uh, eating up to 25% of calories. And the most common type of whole day fasting is this 5-2 diet. That's five days of, regular, of your regular diet, which you normally eat, and then two days interspersed of eating four to 500 calories per day. That's whole day fasting. And the research is super limited in this area. I came across seven short-term studies up to six, between 10 month, weeks and six months long, where one or two days of modified or complete fast, three of the studies were on overweight obese individuals, three of the studies were on normal weight individuals. And here's what they found. They lost weight. People who did this lost weight. Three to 9% decrease in weight and fat, no change in lean mass in three studies. Also, you saw improvements in cholesterol as well as triglycerides. Again, I have to reiterate, anytime you lose weight, you're going to see improvements in blood lipids, and in most cases, blood pressure. So it's not a function of the diet. It's more a function of weight loss itself. Now, time-restricted eating. What do we know about time-restricted eating? It's the daily window, right, eating within 4 to 12 hours, followed by a fasting period. So common one is a, you know, 16-8 or an eight-hour time-restricted window. 